Hello, you. Good morning, good evening, good day. We're back playing Miss Goody Two Shoes. Was it Miss Goody Two Shoes? I think it was Miss Goody Two Shoes. We are just about. Uh, we just finished talking with uh, her name, <laughs> which I Moon something. Yeah, I, I don't remember her name. Um, and we're taking her with us to go to Sunday Mass. So, on our merry way! Flock! Flock? What's, what's a flock? <gasps> oh, he's so cute! Ah, who's a fl flock of fluffy companion? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. I'm so relieved to see you. <laughs> Where have you been? You know this goat? <laughs> of course. We're on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were. We were. Oh, he's the cuddliest, cuddliest, cuddliest thing, isn't he? <laughs> the cuddliest thing, the cuddly, cud why can't I say this? The cuddliest, the cuddliest, the cuddliest th little thing you say. Anyway. I ought to get going. We don't want to be late for Sunday mass. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, flocky. No, flock. It was flock, right? Hmm. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to do. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so glad. glad. Oh. I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elise. I kept up... It kept me up for hours last night thinking you... Oh, shush it! I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. You, are, you really are too kind. For goodness sake. Good grief. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? <laughs> yeah, I whacked, you. I whacked you a few times. I called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. <laughs> Most folks would have tossed me right out the moment they found me, but you didn't. Hmm. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading All out. All right. Don't wonder about it. Don't make a mess. Uh, of course. I won't, Elise. Pursue your love interest. Talk to your favorite girl when you see a heart above her head to schedule a romantic date later. All right. Ah, before you go, Elise. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, before you go, Elise. Hmm? I have something to tell you. If you could come meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Uh, well, it's important, so I'll be in the back by nightfall, all right? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? Uh, I promise it's not been bad. We'll see about that. Romantic dates. All romantic dates are marked with the heart icon. Each date will skip one time period. Alright. Meet. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I walked into a closet. Oh, yeah, this is a safe thing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Would you like to revisit the game's tutorials? No. Right. New thing. Anything? Alright, go into mass. I'll get an earful. I'll get an earful from Father Hans if I don't hurry up. Map. Map. 
Bitcoin path. Can I, like, no. Oh, well, can I? Can I, like, what's, what's that? Oh, chores. Correct. Uh, next in the story, attend Sunday Mass later, romantic date. And that's what I already did. Toggle. No tasks. Oh! Can... Okay. I don't know. I don't know where... Alright. I have no idea. Uh, check your objectives, romantic dates and tasks. Alright. Just did that. The music's really good. This isn't the time to wonder. At best, Gretel. There you are, Elise. Oh, come here. What? No, it's the same voice. <laughs> well, I mean, Granny's dead, so. <laughs> Good day, Granny Gretel. Good. Uh, on your way, Mass. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hams off my back. I have some fresh buns, they'll cheer you up. Why don't you take a look? Oh, she's a beggar. Looking cheeky again today, dearie. Mm, fine. Do I have any? I have ten. I can buy you one bread. Okay, then I have two bread. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? I got no money, Granny. Ought to keep yourself well fed, you hear? Okay, so that's a bakery. Don't forget to shop by the village shops for some helpful items. Spend whatever currency that is. A free part? Can I pick up the... Oh. What are you? Those are for the... Those are for her goat side major. Resting atop one another, many blemish, discolored, and wrinkled apples await their turn in the stable. Hmm? Mrs. Lisbeth's apple tree seem to be doing well this year, huh? Filled to the brim with apples, the barrel stands unyielding despite the visible gaps between its parts. Max. Oh, that's such a cool perspective. That's really nice. L wolf. Lepkuchen. Lepkuchen, not lep. Lepkuchen. Lepkuchen. Let's, let's go with ku. <laughs> Lepkuchen. And I used to play about in in the water all the time, didn't we? Though we're a little too old for that now, I suppose. Forevermore decorated with blooming flowers, Kitty Burst Crest rests upon, rests upon the square fountain in its ancient glory. Story events are marked with the book item. If marked by a, uh, they will skip one time period. Everything's all, everything all right, Miss Linda. Oh, Elise. Would you take a look at my poor flowers? That windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. What windstorm? Has nobody told you? Why, you've seen all the branches scattered about town. I heard Brunhilde's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. Give one time period. Good 
Miss Elise, you look dread. Good morning to you too, Miss Bertha. Oh, I was I wasn't certain you'd come today. Why wouldn't I miss? Od Odili? Miss Miss Elise, you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink, I believe you. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, I must have been dreadful up in the office. Not at all. It seems you folks had it worse than I did. My, now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary wi uh, windstorm, I tell you. How so, Odile? Oh, I've ha I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, Odile, it's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see... Mm, you'll see Marily... Marily... Marily? All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness, what has Kieferberg come to? After you, Elise. Hmm. The woodland, huh? Right. I'm guessing the witch is in the woodlands. Elise! Stay hydrated. Good morning, Elise. Freya, Evergreen Sweetheart. You're always so cheery, Freya. You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I always slept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, what can oh we me do? neither. And all because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? <laughs> I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Mr. Wilhelm. <laughs> we best focus now, Elise. That's it, you. You're the one withering on, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed Saint Walburga take the heed of our prayers. Amen. Oh. This Saturday, this Saturday we will once again be celebrating our patrons, Saint Walpra. Wal Walpurga. Walpurga. As you know, preparations for the festivities are already on the way. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. <sighs> Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying mm. times. Let us trust Saint Walpurga to guide our people and keep 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 Kieferbergs out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. for everybody. <laughs> I only have so much range. Uh, took you all. Took you all. Took you all you have to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. Luck cooking. <laughs> Sugary devil tea. Slash it, you. Very funny, Luck cooking. I can't, I can't do this name. Jokes aside, Elise. Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord you care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose again, Lep. <laughs> Can you tell? For goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'd best get to work now, before it gets See late. See you later, Elise. <laughs> I won't, I won't. 
Another relationship. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Yeah, we already did that. Didn't sleep a week. Explain the hilarity. You're hopeless, Le Lebuchen. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Ooh, another pets. Oh, you brought my favorite. Mr. Bernard? Mr. Bernard said you were rather late. <laughs> Mr. Bernard said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I didn't tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told you Mrs. Elmo worked me like a donkey right up to the, uh, until nightfall. Mr. Bernard was fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernard can't find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. You really are stubborn, Elise. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say, I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Lip. We're rising up everybody here. The chickens help Alma with the apples. Alright. Do let's do the chickens. Stop. We best send word to Primeldorf before Ah, at least didn't see you there. Send word send word to Primeldorf, Mr. Gustav. We're having folks from Primeldorf lend the hand with the festival this year, Elise. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountain less. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. She was? You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elise. Certainly, Father. Hard at work on a Sunday, are you? When aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elise. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav. Thank you. Steal the Bible. Ah. No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. <laughs> I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. Father Hans' holy scripture rests upon the altar, each page scrawled with unknown, 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 unknown. I remember sneaking into Father Hans' study with the lab when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them, anyhow. Something written on here. Hallowed Valpurga, sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quenched thou shalt be on this Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life bearing glory. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroads beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. And the crossroads? I wonder who dropped this. I think it's the witch. Mm -hmm. This place always brings back such good memories. Fragrant mountain breeze for all licks about the woman here spreading its spring cheer all across Kieferberg. Alright. Go right now. I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Hall. Granny Holly passed. Not that they ever did anything, anyhow. 
kept burning in the wake of a prayer. Each candle's flame flickers in this serene devil devotion. Ooh, my dick! Uh, thank goodness that's over. What a poor. I think I'll have to work all day until the evening. We were gonna do something chicken use. All available packs are marked, tasks are marked with a blue mic. Each task you do will skip one day, one time period. Right. Uh, the battery be true, the battery are Do your best and spend your. Yeah. I think I need it. Ah, Elise, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to pray out. I used it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. I a little lavender in there, too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, uh, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say, Elise, I was wondering, are you also gonna ask me on a date? Oh. I'm going to pick some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? But maybe you want to care for I thought maybe you might care to join me if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there, Freya. Ah, oh, that, that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Elise. I'm such a fucking awkward. <laughs> What's gotten into her? I'm so glad you dropped by, Elise. Won't you lend me a hand? I have my hands full tidying up after that windstorm, you see? I can lend you a hand with that, Mrs. Ariane? Ariane? I was hoping you would fetch uh, me some eggs for the coop. Sure. Sure. Give it to Mrs. Uh, me, Mrs. Ariane. Careful with the hands now, you hear? I dare say they're still riled up last night. <laughs> Out of my way, you feather rat. I gotta be. That's something. Try again. Mm. I can probably get an A. Uh, can I? How do I? 
I guess not. Oh my, these will hardly do it. It's, um, how many eggs do you need? And is going to be rather disappointed with the poor lad. For your time, Elise. Ooh, got 32. Thank you, Mrs. Ari. Check on Freya since we're here. He's so fucked up, right? Freya! Yes! Hello! There she is! I'll spend some time with her. Rather cute, aren't you? My, there was no need to run at least. It, you. Who's running you? I always like this lep, lep cushion. I'm just gonna call her Lep. Can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elise. For goodness sake! It's such a nice day today. I could stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful, earful from Father Hans, are you? Remember when you, we would sneak up here at night time? To look at the stars and snacks on leftover pe pretzels? As I forget that. <laughs> Oh, that night old geezer caught us. <laughs> Never let that one go, will you? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying, praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Hmm. Because you felt sorry for me, not because you were told to. You two will ne never see eye to eye, will you? What's there to see? You're the one who's put up with him for too long, though, the way I see it. It's not as though we've never been at odds with each other. Oh, spare me. Over what? You think I'm short of... You think I'm short of complaints? <laughs> Indulge me, why don't you? <laughs> All geezers like you belong in the pig pen, you anchor. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never hear us from up here, Elise. Mm -hmm. Alright, but you're the one getting the lecture if he catches us. At the top of our lungs now. Mm -hmm. lungs now. You're so ugly, not even seen to we'll fucking save you, you ogre. <laughs> Dare tell me my hair is long. Here it's too long again, and I'll chop off whatever's left of yours, you old weasel. Mm. Did he really tell you that? For a clergywoman, that... For a clergywoman, that is. Who cares about some made-up rules, Lev? Uh, aren't you feeling a lot lighter after all that, Elise? I can say you needed it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm no saint, after all. Despite my bail. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Lev. <laughs> it suits you much better than that dust cloth on your head. <laughs> my, you're such a charmer, Elise. All it does is weigh you down and it makes you look gloomy, too. How do I look without it, then? Slush it, you! Such a kill, Lev. Anyway, Elise, it's best we move along, wouldn't you say? These eggs won't collect themselves, as little eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Of course, Lev. I'll be there.
get a love heart after every successful date. Check your progress in the relationship menu. Romantic date available. Wait, am I... Can I eat one of my pretzels? Oh. Soon as close. Where's the broom? Where's the broom? Green. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Or not. Oh, rad! <laughs> okay. Really? Really? Uh, confusing to have. Your youth won't last working on a Sunday, my dear. Mine didn't, that's for certain. It shows, I'd say. <laughs> Would you believe we're still not done with, with the alleys? My, that certainly is taking a long time. I'm supposed to do what? I'm surprised you haven't left a hand today, at least. <laughs> it's a Sunday, Miss Bertha. We all have time on our hands. Oh, is that so? Why don't you come in and tidy up my kitchen, then? I could certainly use the time. Come now, it's not as though the lass hasn't work been working all day. Doing what? Collecting eggs? Doing whatever... Doing whatever it is folks need, Miss Bertha, as always. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? Did I talk with her earlier? I feel like I talked with her earlier. Kiss the rat with the kids. He... Didn't I have a date? Yes, I did. Kill you. I'm going on another date. Raising of all the. Being a goat, huh? Not one care in the world, obviously, to everything. Rose and Marine. Please. I 
didn't know you'd be back so soon, Elise. <laughs> Still ought to head back to time, uh, back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out there? Out here? <laughs> uh, I just waiting for the stars to come out is all. Hmm. At least a little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Mm. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing croissant. Crescent. The wa the waxing crescent. I don't know what that is. Important to set my sights on what's to come. The sooner, the better. What do you mean, Rosemarine? Oh, you see, Elise. I've dreamt about you before. About Kifubo, too. Last night, or...? I know this message may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kifubo by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elise? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elise. Huh? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. Hmm. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... Rosemary. I don't understand, Rosemary. Ready for what? <laughs> You'll know, in time. For goodness sake! What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosemary. What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strangely nostalgic to me. Hmm. Nostalgic, you say? Oh, your that's... name, your voice, your home, this breeze even. All that surrounds you, so much of it feels like home to me. Rosemarine. That's not possible, Rosemarine. Elise. It's you the stars told me about, Elise. I'm certain now. <gasps> Never in my life have I ever heard such nonsense. And yet, I'm covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I can't tell you don't believe me. Uh, I can't tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. Rosemarine. Rosemarine, I... I think I'll stay out of here for a little... I think I'll stay out here for a little while longer. That's alright. <laughs> I promise I won't be late for supper. Uh... Alright. Don't stay out here too long, do you? Yes. I won't, I won't. Um, gee, at least got game. All right, now that I've uh, almost starved to death. Oh, that's one red and one life. Okay. Each glistening grape clings to its stem, coming together in heavy, plump bunch. Okay, that's just the same as a pretzel. Right. Right. Alright. Uh, oh, is it tea for lantern? No. Uh, how do I. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm finally done with work today. I'd be out. Uh, I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel to see Leprechaun. Dinner with the Rosenberg. Meet Leprechaun at the bakery. I'm gonna have some din din. Elise! Ah, Elise, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Oh, maybe I didn't have to heal. I don't know. Would you like me to start making dinner for us from tomorrow, Elise? Mm. It's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Wait a minute. They have the same eyes. 
the same jaw and the same nose. Are they the same person? All right. On that note, Rosemary, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. And have you hang around the granary and bring in all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, but I... oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my fill of running out looking for you day and night. Uh, but... Oh, Elise, I wouldn't want to be a bother. Oh, shush it! And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic, and that's fine over here. I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosemary? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here in case. <laughs> Just in case. Broom of safety. Alright, I'm gonna end this one here. It's, it's starting to become interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for my voiceover. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot to read, but it's nice. If you like this, like the video. If you didn't, dislike it. Comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Doodaloo!